Just just let that marinate for a minute, okay? You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm deserving of, of some good time. I'm deserving to have good company. I'm deserving to do it at my own pace. I paid the cost, okay? I've I, I been through the thick and the thicker. Yeah, I deserve that all that. Okay, but the more that you have, the more you are susceptible for the bullshit, the more you are susceptible for people to men and women to come in and try to use you. You cancel, you cancel yourself out like a lot of women. Oh, I got, you know, I got a doctor degree and this, this, this. A lot of men are intimidated by that. A lot of men are intimidated by the fact that I got my own home. Yes, I've met men that are intimidated by the fact that uh, I pull up in that ride that I pull up in. You know what I'm saying? I Oh, she got a house. What? You ain't renting? You ain't on Section 8? No, this is my shit, partner. I got, I, I got an invoice for all this right here. This is me. Some men are intimidated by that. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's just wow. But I also come to realize that those are not your people. Because when you meet people that um, accept you for who you are and still go with the flow of it, those are your people. The ones that fall off of the wayside and get jealous and all that other kind of stuff, that means that your journey with them has stopped. You know what I'm saying? Your journey with them has stopped. Now it's time for you to keep on moving forward. Yeah, that's what that means. So, no, you don't have to... Uh, you know, bait and switch nobody in to love you, to spend time with you and all that kind of stuff. Though I understand it's hard because I've been that too. How come you don't love me? How come you treat me the way you treat me? How come, man, I'm so giving and I'm so this and this and this. How come you not, how come you ain't gravitating to this? Because that's not your people. They're not on your same frequency. You vibrating a little bit higher than them. It could be some shit that he's just a little bit intimidated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and even like with some of the women that I've, you know, met in my lifetime. Motherfuckers is intimidated by success. They ain't got, they ain't. Now, as long as you bottom of the barrel, bottom feeding, fucking with nothing ass niggas and doing all kind of dumb shit and all that kind of stuff, man, you got all kind of friends in the world. Girl, let's turn up. Let she roll that shit up. Let's, let, let's do this right here. Speaking of which, Harvest is in. But yeah, let me, uh, let, let, let's do this right here, girl. Let's have a drink. And girl, yeah, let me borrow $10. As long as you wanted them, you are the life of the party. You, you too cool for school. But you get on a certain level and start getting your shit together and watch how people start falling off the wayside. It ain't even nothing that you did. You'll be sitting up like, damn, what did I do? Me. What did I do? What did I say? You just, damn, you just not going to be my friend anymore? You just leave me? You just, man, at first you was all into me and you know what I'm saying? And you just fell off. It's an intimidation thing. A lot of people, when a person is not there yet, and you're there, they're uncomfortable about it. Instead of looking at it as though, you know what, um, let me learn from this person. Because, see, a lot of people don't want to admit what it is that they don't know. Okay? A lot of people ain't. That's when you know you truly know yourself, and you're really on the road to righteousness, when whatever somebody else got, you ain't even intimidated by that. Because that... I, I didn't pray for that. I don't want that. I can afford to go buy that now. If that's what I want, I can go get that. Okay? But that ain't that, that ain't what I prayed for. That ain't what I want. You know what I mean? I'm glad you got that. Oh, girl, that shit look bomb on you, girl. If you don't run that shit, yeah. That's when you know that you are truly, um, you're accepting where you are in your past. Um, you are about love and you're not, you're not jealous. You know what I'm saying? You're not a hater. When you are excited about somebody moving up in the corporate world or you're excited about somebody getting a new job, getting a new car, you know, getting a new place, whether or not they ring the owner, it don't matter. Or just simply being able to pay who you owe. You know, when, when, when you speak on somebody else's shit in a good way, ain't nothing about you no motherfucking hater. 
Ain't nothing. Because I have to say right now, I ain't, I ain't hating on a damn soul. Because I already know, like I done told y'all several times, and you know what I'm saying, two or three times fold. God give it and he take it away. I ain't got time to be hating on what nobody else got going on. I wish everybody the best success in the world. You understand me? Because I don't want, you know, one day to wake up and all my shit done left for me. And I done woke up and now my shit's gone. Why? Because my heart wasn't right? Nah, I ain't finna do that. Mm -mm. You ain't got to worry about that. Hell no. I done prayed too long. The life that I live is a dream that I used to have. You know what I mean? I write shit down. I talk shit into existence. You know what I mean? I pray so so hard. You know what I mean? I meditate. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm working behind the scenes. I'm a Monopoly player. You know, I'm one of the coldest that ever played that goddamn game in, 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 our, in our circle. <laughs> Let me say that. In my little circle, I'm one of the coldest. You gonna have to. You gonna. We're gonna be playing for four hours straight for you beat me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm gonna know how to move this shit around and do this right here and make this happen and make that pop. Struggle a little bit until I get to over there. Don't worry about it. This shit is temporary. I'm one of them. You know. So anyway, um, I just wanted to speak on that a little bit. Um, get you guys up and current about me and what's up with me. We're going to do a lot of cooking. It's cupcake weather. It's cuffing season. It's all that other type of shit. And, baby, I got some I, I got some um, menus and some recipes and things that I want to share. So, we're going we're gonna to do all that. I'm ready to get back on board like a non-stop November or don't stop December. Something to that effect. Don't hold me to it if I don't come in on that Thursday. You know what I'm saying? But my, my, my intentions is to be consistent. Um, I know that that is what I need, you know. Um, I'm well aware that I, you know, I have, I haven't been pushing this as I used to, you know what I mean? But hell, you gotta, you gotta factor in the fact that this woman got over 2,200 videos. That's a whole bunch of time. You know what I mean? She do some breaks. Okay. I'm do some breaks. It take a whole lot of time to get up there to those type of videos. I really, um, man, I have, I, I have nothing but homage to, um, the life casters that have posted that way. You know what I mean? Because it takes a lot, a lot, a lot of time, energy, ridicule, disrespect, intrusion, all that kind of stuff to reach those pivotal levels. They reach that point right there. Anytime you get over 10 million views on YouTube, you done done something. You done done some things. You know what I mean? It's people far, farther than me that started... You know, a couple years ago. You know what I mean? And they surpassed me. No hate in my game. Ain't no hate at all. Girl, if you don't continue to keep doing your motherfucking ski low, if you don't continue to keep doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't praying for the same thing, and everybody ain't going to the same place. And everything ain't got everybody's name attached to it. Let me just go and say that. You know what I'm saying? So, at any rate, um, I'm getting ready to go get me some fish. Um, my baby got to be to work at 5, 5, at Five o'clock, I think. I think he's going in at five. It's two twenty nine right now, so I'm gonna go and go run and go get us some fish and shit right quick. And um, yeah, so that's what I'm about to do. On that note, family, I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. Let's get back consistent. Let's get back into some other things. I want to do some shit in my room. I want I want wallpaper. I want to upholster all my furniture. And I want to get my house set up and ready for the holidays. You know, I want big reefs on my doors. I think I kind of want to change out my double doors in the front of the house. And it's just things that I just want to do that I want to put some money back into um, building more equity around, around the compound and around what I got going on. You know, I, I think it's time to get back into that. And so, anyway, I'm gone. I love you guys. I love you guys for watching. And you guys have an awesome rest of your week. And we should talk soon. Yeah. All right. Bye. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. I can't say goodbye soon. I can't say that. Hold on one second. Y'all, hold on, hold on. I know I was getting ready to... I had to show y'all these pants right quick. I know y'all said, bitch, you said you was going. I know it. Family, I had went to Torrid and um, got a charge card for my daughter. So then, therefore, whenever she wants to go to the mall, just like how my mom, remember I was telling you guys how my mama um, would uh, um, 
had the learner's card or whatever and go to the mall or whatever. My daughter likes to go to the mall with her friends, whatever. So I had got a, a got um a card at Torrid for her. And so I went to Torrid. We went, her her and I went to Torrid a couple of days ago. And I bought these pants. Oh my god. Of course they're not real leather, but and they were um the red tags were fifty percent off. It's twenty twenty five ninety seven, um, is what the uh, the clearance tag was marked. They were regularly eighty eight. I got a size twelve. Um, they're um, so they were clearance at twenty five ninety seven, and the red tags were um fifty percent off of that. And then plus, I got twenty percent off of my total purchase because I had opened up a, an account and all that stuff. So I got these pants for nine dollars. Nine dollars because not only did they give me, I got my twenty percent for um, opening up the account. I also got my military ten percent over everything, so I had got like thirty percent off of everything. So my daughter had got all kinds of stuff. I even got me some shoes. Where's the shoes at? Hold on, let me show you these shoes. Hold up, hold up, hold up. And the shoes was buy one get one free. The shoes were buy one, get one free. And so she got a pair and I got a pair. And actually they were mismarked because they weren't supposed to be buy one, get one free. They were supposed to be buy one, get one 50% off. But since the um, the their sale sign was in the wrong direction, the sister said, okay, I can't do nothing but honor it because this is what it is. So I got these right here. Aren't they cute? And... um. This here was, uh, I think, a red tag, too. No, it was a yellow. So the yellows were buy one, get one 50% um, off, just like with the shoes. See, yellow. It was buy one, get one 50% off. But at the shoes, at the, uh, the clearance portion of the shoes, it had buy one, get one free. So she was like, oh, my God, I got to pull that. But since you seen it and I have to honor it so it is what it is so I got these and they're good walkables too but I also got this right here that I love let me show you I know I gotta I gotta go because I want to go get me some fish and all that kind of stuff but is this not the cutest damn thing ever can you see that I don't know if you guys can see me good I don't want to get all in the frame or every, everything real tough like but Oh my God, I love this. I just love it. Look at the back. Look at that. Isn't that cute? With some jeans and stuff. Oh my God. And these right here, they fit me very well. I, never in my wildest of dreams would I ever thought that I'd ever be a size 11, 12 in my life. So yeah, I'm truly living a dream that I don't want to get woke up. That's why I don't want to treat anybody crossed. I don't want to be talking about nobody. I ain't trying to be jealous of nobody. I'm not trying to get up under nobody's skin. That's why when y'all constantly send me messages, um, IMs about what somebody else is doing on YouTube, I look. Let me just be clear about this right, right quick, okay? Because I don't, I don't want you guys sending me any more messages about what nobody else is doing. Because I wish nothing. Let me be crystal clear, Mikasa clear, okay? Oh, I got some Mikasa and some Princess House from the Goodwill yesterday and today. Badass crystal pieces. I put them in my hutch. At any rate, I am not in the business to be crossed with anybody. I don't. Right now, I'm living a purposeful, blessed life. Purposely driven. I cannot fuck up my blessings by being agitated, jealous, Mad about what nobody else got going on. Please, I can't be no clearer than that. Stop putting words in my mouth. Stop, you know, being funny and, and going back and backbiting. Well, she said this and she said, I, I'm, it, it's too juvenile for me. I'm 45 years old. I ain't got time for it. That's one reason why I go and come on this platform. I'm not on here all the time like that because it's too messy. I don't want to be involved and entangled in no bullshit, nobody's mess, no nothing. If it's something that I need to say, I ain't got no problem with saying it. Motherfuckers might not be able to travel as tough as I'm able to travel. You understand what I'm saying? So what you gonna do? You gonna come with my ass because I done said something about you. Baby, I'll say what the hell I want to say and keep it pushing after that. I, I ain't, ain't no breaks on where I can go right now. 
I'm on Audubon. I'm in my own motherfucking lane, okay? So when it's that way, you don't want to mess with nobody because you don't. I don't want no wrath, and I don't want you know God to punish me because of you know some transgressions. So no, nah, you ain't got to worry about that. I, nah, 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 baby. I'm in a size twelve, okay? Who I'm gonna who I'm gonna be mad at? You know what I'm saying? One of my partners hit me up like, Tim, let's go on a cruise. Who I'm going to be mad at? I'm mad at what? For who? Why? What Mad for what? what? What would be the reason? Please tell me. What would be the reason for me to be jealous or mad at anybody? It don't even make no sense. Let's use...